clashing and crashing percussion music is the work of J. Allen Zimmerman, a New York composer with significant hearing loss who has been dubbed Broadway's Beethoven. The piece, entitled Roboticus, is about a man who upgrades his natural body with artificial parts to become a robot. Is that the choices I'm facing? Do I get a cochlear implant and become sort of a bionic man? If it gave me better than normal hearing, I would grab it. Ooh Zimmerman has no diagnosis for the condition that turned his world into a muddle of sound more than 10 years ago. He supplements that muddle through lip reading. He also relies on light as a complement to his music. Zimmerman says his hearing problem may involve damage to the minute sensors in the ear known as hair cells that transmit audio signals to the brain. Though the electronic device known as a cochlear implant improves hearing, it does not allow for appreciation of music or all the richness of sound. Zimmerman prefers to wait for scientists to find a way of regenerating hair cells. Researchers gained a valuable insight from an unexpected source. Dr. Mark Warkall of the Washington University School of Medicine explains what chickens have brought to hearing research. The avian inner ear has this really remarkable ability to regenerate uh, sensory receptors after injury. So uh, deafening a bird, for example, uh, it turns out to be a very temporary uh, thing. Uh, within several weeks, uh, all of the, the dead sensory cells, the damaged sensory cells, will be replaced by new cells. Unlike chickens, humans cannot replace sensory cells lost to aging, toxicity, or loud noise. Researchers at this week's Hearing Restoration Project Summit at the New York Academy of Medicine noted the human body does have the capacity to restore skin cells, cells in the digestive tract, and in a damaged liver. Dr. Andrew Groves of the Baylor School of Medicine says scientists are trying to apply that capacity to more complicated sensory cells. You can really break that problem down into two simple uh, processes. One is that if you want to repair something, you have to make more cells. The cells have to divide. And so understanding what tells a cell to start dividing and then to stop at the appropriate time is really important. But researchers say that simple problem may take 10 years to solve and tens of millions of dollars to fund the effort. At this point, J. Allen Zimmerman is declining a surgical treatment as he waits for a cure. In the meantime, he says he will continue writing musicals and performing his own compositions for theater. Peter Fedinsky, VOA News, New York. Can you help? Maybe, maybe not.